what happening people what's going on what's going on appreciate the patience had to get myself together for the streaming here and uh, let me make sure we are good to go here give me one second to make sure i got everything good and uh i think we're rocking and rolling here so let me make sure all the stuff is pretty good here let me check y'all know i gotta check my sound a little bit for y'all I got some Madden stuff going on here. Let me make sure we good. What's going on? What's going on? Appreciate the patience. Had to get myself together for the streaming here. And uh, let me make sure we are good to go here. There we go. I have my uh, other video on here. So we should be good to go. I stopped around my repeat. So what's happening, folks? What's going on? Uh, shout out to my man, Racer X. Uh, we're going to dive into the best squad in Mutt. And uh, last time we took a look at um, my man, Tony Langdon's uh, lineup. And before we kick this video off, we're going to look at my man Racer X lineup. As a matter of fact, uh, Racer X, who's on here now, a subscriber that I met, and we've been texting back and forth. We love Mutt. We have a passion for it. Um, Racer X literally uh, has given me the best advice ever. Uh, he, he suggested I get two defensive tackles, Warren Sapp, and, um, and I forgot the other one, but I got two. <laughs> I forgot them already. My mind's going blank, but... I got two great defensive tackles that complement each other, and I've been getting sick pressure and run stuffs like crazy, so appreciate that advice. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at Racer X's lineup. So let me uh, let me pull this lineup up here, and uh, let's go to our live scene. We're going to hop into Madden here, and uh, let me fix that. Looks like my, uh, my Madden is uh, acting a little funny. Sometimes we got to just adjust these little things here and just restart them. Let me do that here. There's sometimes things get a little weird here. Let me restart this uh this uh thing here. Bear with me. You know, it, sometimes when you go live, crazy things happen. So uh let me just restart this uh program and it should be reflecting pretty good. Sometimes it acts a little funny. You know how technology is. <laughs> sometimes it's crazy. But while we're doing that, we're gonna take a look at my man's lineup here. And uh, let, let me pull this up here. Let me get his lineup pulled up here so we can actually take a good look at it. And we're going to look at my man Racer X lineup and we're going to judge his lineup, see how good it is. And uh, you can actually evaluate your lineup as well against what we show just to make sure you got a pretty decent lineup. And let me make sure my, uh, my stuff is coming up here like it's supposed to. All right, and we'll just, uh, we'll just bring up the other screen here. Let me go here to my screen capture and we should be right in my man Racer X lineup. So we're looking at my Racer X, the level 49, 93 overall team. And uh, let's take a look at his uh, his team here. And and again, if you are watching this and you want me to take a look at your lineup, uh, you can definitely email your lineup to dadvson 1v1 gaming uh, game at gmail.com. And I'll probably write that down or show you what my email is. But let's take a look. So he has left tackle, Jonathan Ogden. Very good choice. <clears throat> he also has Alan Fanica. Uh, he gets Puller Elite for free. Jonathan Ogden gets Edge Protector for 1 AP. Um, also has uh, Tyler uh, Badiaz, 92 at center. Um, Nate Davis at right guard, a 92. And Lane Johnson, 93, also gets, I believe, the um, Edge Protector. Then he has TJ Hawkinson. Now, TJ Hawkinson, folks, he is a really, really, really good tight end. I mean, him and Zach Ertz are running neck and neck. Uh, he's made some great plays for me. He has a 97 catch in traffic, so pretty good. Uh, looks like his starter here is C.D. Lamb, uh, 95 overall. Really, really good starter. C.D. Lamb, Lamb low-key. C.D. Lamb got them juke moves, man. If y'all have not, let me get comfortable here. If y'all have not had uh, C.D. Lamb in your lineup, his juke moves are absolutely insane. Uh, has Randy Moss, Randy Moss 93, still very serviceable, still very good, can burn you. Uh, Marsh, he has Beast Mode. Yo, I'm thinking about adding Beast Mode, but I want to keep Ladanian because Ladanian is a beast out of the backfield when catching. Uh, got the Cam Newton. Yes, sir. We're gonna and we're gonna in this video, we're gonna show you. Uh, like I said, I, I was gonna give you guys my little ebook that I'm putting together, but we're gonna kind of do a little small ebook session here. Krishna Quaid, fullback. And DeAndre Hopkins, which I love, he gets um, route technician as well as hot route uh, um, wide receiver apprentice for one AP. 
uh, you know, and uh, the, I believe the route technician is two AP. So three AP if you light him up. So pretty good when you add abilities to him. All right, let's look at his uh, defense here. Sean Taylor, uh, great, great, great choice. Uh, Ronnie Lott, I think, I believe is the best in the game, but Sean Taylor is absolutely a, a demon out there. Lawrence Taylor, right. Uh, Mike um, Singletary in the middle. Ray Niski, and uh, looks like he has uh, Cam Chancellor as well, too. And I can't see the middle. I think it's, I uh, can't really see the middle one, a little, little blurry, but he has Night Train Lane, uh, Ward, Bruce Smith, um, and he added Chris Jones, Mario Williams, and uh, Carmichael. And I think we have the same defensive tackle. So a great lineup that he has. Um, he's a 93 overall, level 49. So again, you run into a lineup like this is going to be crazy. Now I'm going to show you some sick ways you can use Cam Newton that you didn't know. Um, so again, uh, round of applause for my man's lineup. The lineup is absolutely fire. So uh, great, great lineup, my friend. Uh, great, great lineup. So I think it's uh, is it Humphreys. I think we got the same defensive tackle. I'm drawing a blank on his name. I don't know why. Uh, just a mental thing. Let me see if I can get my Madden going here, and uh, we'll 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 uh. We'll kind of talk about some lineups, uh, how to build your squad, uh, just an overall general thing. This is a live form, so if you want to jump in and um, and kind of share some input, then feel free. You can do that as well. I'm waiting for my Madden thing to initialize here. Looks like it was kind of tripping. Let me uh, help it out a little bit. Yeah, sometimes these uh, capture cards act a little funny, so bear with me. If you can, and we'll uh, we'll get right into some lineups. But so, if you're coming in late, we we're evaluating lineups. And so, if you have a lineup you want me to look at and evaluate, I will. So, uh, grade on the lineup, I would say A. Put some abilities on your offensive line because you get them for real cheap, and uh, and your I mean your line is really going to push you because you got a really good line. Um, got a really good line. Adding abilities is going to make this line pop. Uh, Alan Fanica has Puller Elite for zero AP. Anytime you can can get anything for zero AP, I don't care if it's the best or not. You turn it on because it's free, right? You don't have to pay anything for that ability. So zero AP, zero AP Puller Elite for Alan Fanica. I think he's probably still one of the best left guards in the game. Uh, this lineup is really good. It's gonna be good for a while. So uh, ninety three overall team, which is good, and probably has if I'm looking at this. Probably your offense is around a 94, I'm guessing, because of who you have here. So if you got 94 offense, 94, 95 offense, 93, 94 team, you're right around the average of decent teams. Um, and that's kind of where teams are going to be at, is, is in that uh in that 90 to um in that I'm gonna say that 93 to 95 range is where you're gonna find most of your um your great teams at or good teams. Anything less than that, um you're going to be trying to, you're going to kind of be struggling to compete here. I'm trying to get my, my, um, my thing to boot up here. I'm not sure why it's not here. So bear with me, folks. I am trying to get my game to boot up here so we can actually go in and, uh, and kind of give you a little tutorial here. So it's coming up. It's taking a little while to detect the signal and I think it's coming in pretty decent. So let me, uh, let me switch over now since we got a signal and I believe we do. Let me get into my Madden. And then we're going to talk about a few things here. As, as, as promised, when I was uh, streaming, I told you guys that literally um, I would do an ebook if we got to like uh, a few likes here. Uh, at least, um, at, I'm going to say at least uh, 500 likes and 500 and 1,000 subscribers. We didn't quite get there, but I'm going to be a stand up guy and do what I promise. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to do a little lab session in this ebook. And this ebook is about the dual threat ultimate ball control offense, and it kills all defenses. Uh, people are going to get on, you're going to get on people's nerves. It's not a light them up type of ebook, right? I mean, you're going to have some light up plays and it's not an ebook that is built around one playbook. It's an ebook that I'm going to be doing that is built around all of the best offenses. If you have a dual threat quarterback, currently the best dual threat quarterback in the game bar none is Cam Newton. Best dual threat in the game. He's big. He's powerful. He can get you ugly yards. He can get some real good ugly yards. Um, and he can he runs that read option really, really good too. So I'm going to show you some plays or some 
few playbooks here that can actually be very complimentary of what Cam can do. So let's switch back to our uh, our game here and make sure we got our game screen up, which I think we do. And we do here. And let me hide the sidebar and pull this thing up. And I think we should be good to go on this game here. All right, let me load my game window. There we go. All right, cool. So let's let's dive into some mutt. Let's talk about some strategies here. And let me just kind of explain to you, if you want to build a dual threat offense, kind of the things you're going to need as well too. Um, so I'm going to go right into my mutt team and we want to hop in and take a look. And so I'm going to go right into ultimate team. I'm going to dive into uh, just some pieces that I built around Cam Newton. I think I shared this last time, but I want to share with you the AP that I have on people. And literally, I just won a Super Bowl, so I was able to add another piece to my offense. Probably one of the biggest pieces to my offense. I'm going to go through and show you. Uh, as you see, this is my team. Uh, let me let me make my screen a little a uh, little smaller here. Let's move myself over here, and let's make myself a little a little bit tinier. You guys can actually see. Well, I don't want to make myself too tiny because I can't see can't see the notifications when they come in, right? Let me make myself I guess decent. All right, so I'm gonna remove my 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 uh my frame here. Give me one second. I'm trying to adjust all this. Yeah, when I, when I make my adjustments here, sometimes it, act, it acts a little funny. There we go. All right, so this is my team here. I'm all the way down here at the bottom. So as you see, I have a 93 overall team. My offense is 94. Defense is 93. Let me share with you some tips and tricks here that might help you out. Now, what I'm going to go over is I'm going to go over the needed AP. I'm going to go over why I chose what I chose. Because one thing about Cam Newton is he doesn't get hot route master, which is a shame. And I really found that a Travis of justice because how are they going to make a, a, a scrambler Brady and give him hot route master, but they don't give Cam Newton one. Or they haven't given any of our real good scrambling quarterbacks hot route master. They gave him Tua, but they haven't given any of the, um, I'm going to say, black quarterbacks uh, any good uh, hot route master ability. So um, let me show you what I just added. I added Creed Humphrey. He was half a million. So I actually literally had to, I sold um, uh, Jason Kelsey for about 300K. And, you know, with, uh, after you pay the fee, it's like 200 some K. Then I had to win a few Super Bowls to get him. But uh, let me show you Creed Humphrey's stats. He's a 96 overall center, best center in the game right now. Um, and let me show you what I added to him. One thing I like about this is, is it, uh, Creed is we're going to take a look at his stats. So obviously, with my, uh, with my Iron Wall strategy, which I'll be sharing with you in another video, um, He's a 95 strength, 90 awareness. His pass block is a 98. His pass block power, 95. Pass block finesse, 95. His run blocking is good. Run block power went up to a 96. And so um, best, best center in the game. And the abilities I have on him are he gets secure protector for 1 AP, and he gets identifier for 0 AP. This way I can see my user. A lot of times when you're playing in Madden games, you want to identify where your user is uh, you know, before you hike the ball pre pre snap. So I like having an identifier. It's pretty cool. Uh, doesn't let me know where the user is, and I find it to be pretty helpful. Also, we're going to be going into some plays that you can actually use to turn him to Ham Newton, Cam Newton into a hammer. Uh, you'll mean you'll see what I mean by hammer. Also, I got Larry Allen as my right guard. Uh, Larry Allen also has secure protector for one AP. Um, he gets puller elite for one AP, but I really don't want to put that in there because. Don't have enough AP for him. So got Larry Allen. And uh, as you see, this line is, is pretty solid. My weakness, I would say, would be at the tackles. I need to upgrade them. Uh, Tristan Wolf and Trent Williams. And then my left guard, uh, John Runyon, um, I need to probably upgrade him as well fast. Receivers, Mike Williams, because number one, if you have Cam Newton, you want to have the ability to have extra hot route. Mike Williams gets wide receiver printers for one AP and short and elite for one AP. So two AP on this receiver. So 
You definitely want to add his abilities. Mike Williams is pretty cool with that. And one thing I like about DeAndre Hopkins is this. A 3AP wide receiver, I get route technician, which means he's going to scorch any man coverage like scorch earth. And then I also get wide receiver, pre, a wide, wide, receiver print, wide receiver apprentice for 1AP as well, too. So, again, um, these are only receivers I have a uh, hot route uh, or wide receiver apprentice on. Uh, CD Lamb. He gets short and elite for free. Anytime you get it for free, it's pretty awesome. So I don't really have enough AP to put any abilities on him. And what I have on Cam that makes him really, really good is this. And most of you guys didn't know this. And I'll share with you this. When you are adding abilities to Cam Newton, fearless is a choice. You can rock it or not. Um, for me, if you're going to sit in the pocket and you want to have that extra uh, immunity to, to pressure, fearless is, is really good. If you're moving the pocket with Cam Newton, I find myself not needing it as often as possible because a lot of times I'm on the move with him. And because of how I use him, uh, I'm able to give him sufficient blocking and I don't really use fearless. But abilities that, that you must have on Cam Newton is number one, fast break. I'm going to tell you why you want fast break. Um, hey, you should buy the Super Bowl pack. Let me check out the Super Bowl pack. I'll check that out, TJ Gaming. TJ Gaming says I buy the Super Bowl pack, so I'm going to definitely check that out um, and see. Uh, and, and, and yeah, I'm going to definitely check that out. I should buy the, the Super Bowl pack. See, let me check that out. Why are my comments are not appearing on the screen? Let's see why my chat box is. Okay, yeah, okay, I see it right here. Your, your comment kind of blended in. But, um, yeah, I'm going to check out the, uh, the Super Bowl pack, man. Appreciate that. So uh, let, let me get back to this as well. So abilities you got to have on Cam Newton, you need Gunslinger. It's just going to help us release a whole lot better. So I got Gunslinger and Fast Break. So Cam Newton is a 2AP quarterback. But what's cool is because of all these abilities I have, I can uh, put these two on hot routes, anyone I want to got wide receiver apprentice. And on LaDainley Thomason, the reason why he's such a valuable piece is he gets wide receiver apprentice for 1AP. So I can give him additional hot routes out the backfield as well. And then TJ Hawkinson, which is which is you know pretty awesome. I got 12AP, so I'm maxed out. If I wanted to with TJ, I could probably end up adding because <clears throat> he gets why well, he gets tight end prints for one AP, which is great. He also gets short and elite for one AP. I'm using the free short out elite because he's going on out routes most of the time. But this is a really, really good card. The fact that you can get short out elite for zero AP is really, really good. But short out elite is a monster type of ability, especially when you can get it for zero AP. Uh, that's pretty awesome. So, again, I got my 12 AP spread out. So, I got some AP on running backs, wide receivers, and line. Um, but, yeah, those those variety packs are pretty nice. So, people are profiting from those. So, I may take a swing at some of these Super Bowl packs. I'm going to check them out. Um, but, yeah, this is this is my lineup at, uh, uh, as of today. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you. Now, I got in my ebook when I when it comes out, I want to have at least five playbooks that you can use Cam Newton in. But I'm going to show you uh, two playbooks that will literally let you turn Cam Newton into a fullback and he will not fumble, right? And I'll probably do a video on this, uh, you know, on my channel. But let me just go here to practice mode and I'm going to show you um, probably one of the most underrated plays in Madden that nobody's using. I've been using this and destroying people with Cam Newton. I've had people message me like just just rage quit. And my man uh, Racer X got a rage quit today. so. Um, and he said I'm one of his favorite YouTubers, so shout out to Racer X. I appreciate you, man. And um, I'm going to put them on him ASAP. Yeah, man. Uh, if you got Cam Newton, please, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go here and show you guys again. Please, at least give him Gunslinger and at least give him Fast Break because if you're gonna run with him on design quarterback runs, you're going you're gonna want that improved blocking. And I'm seeing that improved blocking as well when I run read options. I mean, the blocking is crazy. I've broken. I've had at least six games where Cam Newton has had over 100 yards rushing and because he just broke free and they don't expect it. So let me show you why he can break free for such rushing yards. So I'm going to go into practice mode here and I'm going to show you a good way you can use Cam Newton. Um, and I'm going to show you one of the offenses. This is one of five offenses that I have in this ebook that you can actually use. So I'm going to go to practice mode here. And what I'm going to do is I want to show you or you can make Cam Newton a killer. So right now I got Kansas City uh, playbook on offense and defense. So again, this is one of the playbooks. 
just one of them is it's at least five other that I'm going to share in that ebook. And I'm going to be releasing that ebook as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers. But I'm going to be covering some of the things in the ebook that you can actually use to improve your team. And so we're going to go into practice mode and I'm going to get your feedback here as we go into practice mode. I'm going to show you a deadly play that nobody's talking about. So uh, first we're going to do is we're going to go to gun deuce close and we're going to go here and we're going to take spacing and we're going to replace it with mesh. We're going to take the inside zone split and we'll replace it with O1 trap and we'll leave this in here. And so let me show you a very deadly play that kills man. And trust me, you can put a person in man and in blitz by following this. So I'm going to go over to the play pistol weak flex close. And this is in the Kansas city playbook. This is part of my ebook. And what we're going to do is we're going to come out in this and it has really, really good plays, but let me show you something that's really, really cool. You see this speed option. This play turns Cam Newton into a fullback. He can get you ugly garbage yards. He can get you, if you need, if you got a second and three or a second and two or second and one, you need some ugly garbage yards. This guy will plow over defenders. Now you see my lineup. I'm going to show you just how good this thing is. It's really, really good. So let me, uh, let me blow my screen up again. So you guys can pretty see me in, in uh, real time. And so we're going to go with this play called um, speed option. I'm going to choose this. And I'm going to choose the blitz that people call. People always call these blitzes right here. They're going to either call spinner or nickel or this one right here, nickel over Storm Brave. Check this out. So, oh, one thing I forgot to do, you want to put your running on conservative. So you see the speed option play. You can flip it to either side. Easy. Now, I'm going to show you how to run this thing when you see gaps. You see a gap on the right? Watch this. You can take this thing and go directly up the middle with Cam Newton for touchdown. If they're going to, if they're going to blitz you with the Overstone Brave, you can turn Cam Newton to a freaking missile. So, again, you just find a gap. They're going to have gaps in their defense, and you can flip this play. And then I'm going to show you in this offense what you have to complement this. So let me get, uh, let, me, let me choose a uh, choose a new play. And then we're going to go back to instant replay, and I'm going to show you what I just did again. Uh, this is real time. If someone is calling this nickel blitz, watch this. You see how the defense gets fooled? Because the Danian Thomason goes out. This guy has to respect him, but this guy gets, gets caught up. And as you see, Creed is one heck of a center. Look at what he's doing with the secure protector. He is literally giving me that hole to go through. So you got two options and you got your running, you got your two wide receivers blocking here. So again, it may not always be this way, but as you see, I got uh, Warren Sapp and I got, um, you know, Humphreys here. But as I run this play, look at this. If you, if you can start off here and cut it, so what you want to do is start off, cut, because that will hold this defensive end a little bit. You see how he pauses? That holds him. So we're going to go back and do this again. Go here. Cut the right hole and let him hold because he has to honor Daniel Thompson. And if you see a gap up the middle, just go straight up the middle with Cam Newton and you can turn him into a fullback. Now, here's what I would suggest doing before you do this. Go here and take your ball carrier and you can't see. Let me, uh, let me just remove my screen here so you guys can see. So take your ball carrier and put it on conservative. And so you can you can take your blocking and just leave that alone. But if you feel like you want to turn it off on one play, you can put it on aggressive. I wouldn't do that too. And, you know, I, I would do that for like one play that I need a yard on. Then I turn it off because you'll, you'll, you'll get holes and everything. So you can take your blocking and um, you can turn keep it balanced or keep, keep it too aggressive. So ball carrier, conservative, blocking, balance, or aggressive. If you need it for a play, you make the judge on that call. Um, but come out in speed option. If they're trying to come out in their favorite little overstorm uh, brave blitz, if you do this enough times, they're going to end up trying to run blitz you, and that's what you want because uh, you can break this thing either way. So I'm going to do it again to the other side, and I'll show you what happens. We can pitch this thing out of Ladain in, and we get some good stuff on the edge. So this play is great, but let me tell you what makes this play deadly and dangerous. If I go like this, I now go audible here to deuce close. 
which now gives me a whole nother look, whole other audibles I can deal with. And now I got this play here called wide receiver RPO. This RPO is deadly. Let me show you. If I hike this ball, well, Troy Troy Miles on it, but if I hike this ball and they're in the wrong defense, uh, you can literally just get some really, really good yards after this. Um, you can also hand it off to LaDainian Thompson, or you can actually throw it over to Kittle, which he doesn't motion. But if I hold his ball, well, I'm holding it too long, but if, if, if you catch somebody in kind of a zone drop-off defense and you go to this here, this quick tight end route, and I think they might have nerfed it because uh, it wasn't updated, so they might have nerfed it. But this quick route right here is, is deadly. It's deadly to get in the open field. So if they're blitzing you, you can quick audible to that. Uh, also, because of this play, uh, you have a lot of options in, in here as well, too. So, again, this play right here is deadly. You can do it on both sides, either side. And you can look and see how many men are on each side. So this side over here, the right, is too many guys over here. So I would run this on here. And you can either take it up the middle or you can pitch it. Now, sometimes this will happen right here. And you'll get this animation. But if you see Aaron Donald or if you see them, them crash down towards you, you just pitch it. And look at all this outside room you got. So they're going to try to crash. And if they don't crash down, you just run up to the middle like a fullback. Now I'm going to keep, keep it this way. And watch, I'm just going to run this like a fullback. Just right up the middle. Just like a fullback. And no, if you have it on conservative, Cam Newton will not fumble the ball. He will not fumble this ball if you got it on conservative. So just go up the middle. Keep that thing like a fullback. And look, this is an easy two to three yards of carry. Easy two to three yards. Just coming in. Easy two to three yards. And I can even pitch this. So, again, you got to kind of get the pitch down. If they know you're going to keep running it, just pitch it. Just pitch it. So this play can be deadly. And then let me show you some things to mix it in with. You can mix this in with PA boot sale. The reason why I have Williams out here is I can take this route, put it on an angle, block my running back, and I can actually block both my tight ends. And I can literally just have these two routes out here. So if they're blitzing me, I got enough time. I can deliver a good throw. Boom. Really easy. So that's why I put the uh, hot route apprentice on uh, Williams here. And I'll show you another play out of this you can do as well that really puts this all together. So you got the pass play where you're going to have time. But you got this other play called PA Flood. And if they come in over Storm Brave and blitz you again, what you want to do is block everyone. Block the running back. Put this guy on the slant. And watch this route by CeeDee Lamb. This route by CeeDee Lamb cooks man coverage. It just cooks man coverage. It's, it's a nasty route. It cooks man coverage. Um, if you look at it in, in replay, I'm blocking everyone. And, and watch CeeDee Lamb up here. Watch how he, just, he can just cook a man coverage. It just cooks him really bad. So th th this route here is... Really nasty because it goes in, then his shark cups his shark cuts out because he has um, short and elite for free. Which is why you this is the reason why you want to turn short and elite on him. Uh, it just makes it a deadly play. Now, even if you want to keep these um, these centers in or these tight ends in, you can. Uh, you can put him on any route. You can put him on a drag if you want to. But this route, if you know it's man coverage, it will cook it. You just need time. Which that's why I blocked the other uh, the other tight end. But if you know they're gonna blitz for sure. Then block everyone, block this running back. And you can even, you know, ID a mic if you want to. I'll do this now, and I'll ID that mic here. And I'll ID one of these guys. And that kind of will hold so you can actually get this pass off. But it just fries. It just fries man coverage. You only need two seconds to throw this thing. It's, it's a really, really good play. So that's in the Kansas City playbook. You can audible. Uh, into the deuce close out of this, which again, this deuce close is really good. Um, I get mesh potion here because I like these um, these routes by the tight end. And sometimes I'll put uh, either one in a go route. I'll make it look like this. So you go mesh and you can take Hawkinson and you can streak him up and you got this wheel route and you can take Williams if you have the hot rod apprentice. And you can run it this way. You got a nice concept here. You have a wide and tight, wide open tight end in the middle. So this is what you can do against blitzes. So if they blitz me, I'm going to beat it with so many concepts. And again, even if they blitz you with this, 
Uh, you still have half, halfback zone weak out of this. And check this out. If they catch a block, you're gone. So again, the, my line is pretty good, and I'm running on my line like this. So uh, if they're blitzing you, this play will really kill them. I mean, you know, look, look, look at what's happened to the linebacker. So if, the, if you're getting overstorm two to death, if someone's overstorming you to death, look what happens when they, when, they, when they get to the second level. Look at this. He has no chance in the second level. So again, if they're going to second level blitz you, you know, you get to the overstorm. And it depends on who they have at linebacker, but you know, have safeties in. But a lot of times they're going to try to blitz you. And these are just kind of ways you can beat it. There's another play in here as well that I like to show. Um, and this one has a really great, op, uh, really great um, jerk route, which I like to call. And if you wait this thing out, there's a jerk route, a jerk route right there that gets underneath. So this is a really, really underrated playbook. Um, you can call so many things out of this. You have plays over the middle. Again, you can hit a person over the middle if they're not paying attention. As you see, CeeDee Lamb is going to fry that. That's why you want to put short and elite on your receivers, right? Because if you put short and elite, you'll see them light up. I'll do this again. You'll see these guys light up when you put short and elite on them. Uh, and that's what you want, you know? The fry man coverage. You see how he lit up? So if the person's man and man, you, you, you got short and elite on your receivers, they will fry them. So sh put short and elite on your main receivers. So short and elite on all receivers, if you can get them, or route technician, you got to have them both because they're going to help you uh, when you are running plays like this and you need to get the ball off. So again, you're seeing how this thing can handle blitzes. Uh, there's a few other plays in here that are really, really great. And I'll show them to you. One thing I like about this formation is <clears throat> you can confuse the hell out of somebody with these uh, short audibles. Uh, this play is a gold mine right here. RPO rebubble. Let me show you why I like it. If a person is lined up in zone and they're trying to zone you, which they're which going to do, look at this. You got a short little hitch throw right here, and this thing catches zone like crazy. Now, I'm going to show you something else with this. Let's say it's, it isn't there. If this, if this guy is coming after you and crashes down, let me see if he does it. He doesn't do it. But if Aaron Donald crashes down, I'm going to see if I can get him to crash down. I can't control if he does it or not. But if, they, if, they, if you call this play and they call a blitz and you're getting a crash down, watch what happens. I didn't get a crash down in time. But anyway, this play can actually turn into a run play too. So it's a, it's a full-on RPO that can actually double as a really, 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 really good run play. And because it does, um, you can take advantage of it. So let me see if I can get him to – yeah, see he crashed down? You see that? So if you see a crash down, you can take this thing for some good yards. So Kansas City Playbook has a lot of cool, unique plays with it. And then also you can also uh, quick audible into – you know, this bunch flex, which can confuse your opponent because uh, this bunch flex is good. Uh, this middle route is just, it just fries man coverage. So again, I got to throw that better. But um, when you, uh, if you want to catch your opponent off guard and you want to fry them, uh, this is a good switch because this route by CD Lamb gets really open. You just have to really free form it, which I will here. Got a free form and out wide like that. So again, make sure you're throwing with your deep free form. And if you can free form pretty good, this play is a killer. So going from this to this, and there's a few other plays, uh, makes this a really deadly thing. And then you can actually quick audible to a few more formations. And so again, if you catch him, you just float it up there and there's nothing you can do. And then he's already lit up. So um, I'll show you another thing you can do from this as well too. You can go from here to this right here, which is another bunch, but it's a different little bunch. And this bunch has a uh, has a play in it, uh, Z spot. And so you can call that Z spot play and kind of give a different look with CeeDee Lamb. So again, if they are in a, uh, if they're in a, I would say a man to man, uh, just be careful about reading the defense. You can hit this corner route as well, too. 
and this corner route gets crazy open. So again, I'm in the zone, so you know it's not going to really much work on the zone, but you can actually switch these pretty confidently. And then it has a built-in audible middle slant, which is pretty good. Um, and so this is a decent play as well too. So I mean, you, you can really, really just hit a lot of different plays on this. And I'm just kind of, you know, just kind of going through some of the plays you got, some of the ideas. But you can freeform this how you want. Um, you have a lot of open people. As you see, I do here. And it looks like the computer's trying to blitz me. And then, um, again, you have three shotgun plays that all are bunch that you can all to that confuses your opponent. And a few of them have read options in them. And so this really, really, really can confuse your opponent. So, uh, again, um, Great plays you can run, as you see, get some over over the middle. So these are some variations you can run if you like shotgun. Um, if you want to pound it, uh, you can. The audible sets in here are really really great. So that's kind of a little a little less tidbit of the ebook here. Um, and I'm just kind of ad libbing, uh, you know, as well too, because obviously different defenses will play different. But <clears throat> this def this this type of offense gives you a lot of variety. And then one thing about this play is you can hold it, and it turns into a run. So I like to have options like this where this is a run. This is a RPO slash read option, both all in one play. If I hold this thing and I want to run it, I can. And you can just kind of see if you can catch your opponent off guard. Again, if they crash down like they just did, boom, you got, you got nothing but open space. And Cam Newton fumble. <laughs> He's probably tired. And they get tired in these practices too. So again, I run it again, you see the crash, and you have daylight, boom. So if they're blitzing you and, they, and they're not controlling the line, you just make the read off this this corn, this uh, end right here. And you run this up the, up the gut a few times, that defensive end is gonna start to pay attention to the running back, just watch him. And he'll get you, but you know, you just gotta make that read right there. So you're reading that defensive end that's on the um that's that's near your closest wide receiver. If he if he if he comes in, you can you know you can do that, and then just read if it's a man or zone. Uh, if you feel like you you know you want to get a little more comfortable, you can actually throw this in there, and uh, that's a good mix up as well too. This uh, tight end route gets open, and I got and that's why you got short and elite on this uh, on this tight end right here too. So a lot of different options you can run out of this thing. Uh, there's another there's another play right here that's pretty decent. Um, this uh, this little comeback route just gets open. You just got to throw it as soon as you hike it. So again, it's a lot of lot of freestyle you can play play with this. But you know if you if you call this PA spot, that comeback route, just throw it, and it's open, pretty much. So uh, pretty good play. I, I like to keep that one on the field. That's kind of a, a, a man beater. So you take this route and you run across field that way. Um, do this angle route like this. This isolation route gets really open. Even if they press it, it's gonna be the press. So you got a lot of things you can do from this. Um, you know, that you can just really go over. And there's so many things you can do to beat a blitz. Um, if you keep them in this formation, they're going to just kind of get lost. And again, it's just reading that defensive end. Let me see if I can read him right. Reading that defensive end. Does he crash? If he doesn't, you can pull it out. You just got to read him. Um, and I'll make my reads based on that. Is he crashing? Yes, he is. Pull it out. And you get great blocking downfield. And so I'll, I'll run this variation a lot. Uh, and just keep your, component, your opponent just kind of, you know, guessing, you know, what to do. And your short and elites are going to help you get open. As you see, that's how I shorten, you know, he just gets open. So, again, uh, you can even move these guys around, hot route them. But, you know, that's kind of a little bit of the Kansas City ebook that I'm using. And so, um, but if you're just getting started in Mutt and you want to build this offense, let's get back to showing you what you're going to need. So, folks, we're going to build you an offense here. I'm going to show you everything you need to build this offense. I'm going to give you some suggestions. If you want to build a dual threat offense, this is what I highly, highly suggest. So, uh, number one, on the offensive side, um, 
you're going to want at least, and I'm going to say this, you're going to want some tight ends that can block. Um, you can get George Kittle and Pete Metzler is very cheap right now, but you're going to at least want to have three tight ends. And the reason why I say you want to have three tight ends is because you can sub some of them in for blocking formations that you need. But Pete Metzler is really great at blocking. George Kittle is great at blocking. And so is uh, TJ. TJ Hawkinson is your receiving tight end. So you're going to need two blocking tight ends, one receiving tight end. And let me just kind of show you why these guys are so special. You know, you take a look at Pete Metzler's, you look at his attributes. We're going to go to him. This guy's an 89 speed, not bad. He's 6'7", 254. His run block is an 88. You want that kind, You want that type of tight end on one of your stretch plays, right? And then a lot of you like to run that deuce. Uh, these guys are great in deuce as well. And then you take a look at George Kittle. Same thing. 90 speed, 89 run blocking, pretty darn good. And then you got TJ Hawkinson, who actually is going to be your receiving tight end. So I would suggest... Having three good, having three tight ends, two of them blocking, and uh, one of them receiving. And as you see, T.J. Hawkinson, 92 speed, 97 catching traffic, 95 spectacular catch, six foot five. Uh, this guy is a beast. He's a monster. So that's one component I would say. So uh, you can get George Kittle and Pete Metzler pretty cheap right now. I think they're you know less than 200k, 150k, or whatever. Um, you definitely want to have that. You're going to need a good a good tackle. I'm going to be replacing him. And definitely your guards and your centers, you want to at least have them and get secure protector on them. Um, or if you want to get Puller Elite, you can. Uh, Puller Elite is a really good skill as well, too. So, again, you want to have your secure protector uh, on both of these guys right here. And you can even take one and put Puller Elite on them. Uh, same thing, you want to have edge threat on these uh, left tackles here to protect your edge. And then you want to have a decent good fullback. Christian Okoye, if you take a look at him, this is the old version, not even a new one. But Christian Okoye, I don't even have him upgraded all the way, I don't think. <laughs> I got to upgrade this card all the way. So, um, But there's no need to because uh, on his attributes, as you see, this guy gets a 92 impact block. Uh, he gets a 90 run blocking. So you combine him with those tight ends. If you have a, a big tight shotgun play, which is uh, you know a single back uh, or single wide receiver, two tight ends, you can take Hawk, uh, TJ out, you can put those two um, tight ends in, and you'll have 88, 89, 90 blocking, and then you'll have your um, your line blocking too. So you can actually just smash your opponent to death um, when you have a team like this built for power. And this is kind of what this team has evolved to, is, is evolved into a power up the gut offense. My next thing I'm going to be doing with this offense is I'm literally going to be uh, adding um, Marshawn Lynch because he's just he's too tough not to add. He can get those ugly yards, and that's what you want. You want two hammers. So between him, Cam Newton, and Daniel Thompson, I'll probably run a two-back system, rotate him out, um, and put him in power-back situations. And then I'm going to upgrade this uh, left guard. And we're going to look at my defense. So if we're looking at my defense here, uh, and, and I don't know why I said Humphreys, Jeffrey Simmons. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name. But my defense here is pretty solid. Um, my right ends are getting a little outdated, but they still get there. I got the bull, um, the bull rush strategy going. But um, on defense, what I'm actually looking to do is I'm actually looking to uh, get better at cornerback. So cornerback two and cornerback three, uh, that's where my next improvement will probably come from. And then eventually I want to replace uh, Reggie White and I want to replace um, Aaron Donald. And so um, Warren Sapp, man, he, he's pretty darn good, man. He's 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 rocking for me. He's he's doing good for me. If you look at the bull rush strategy card that I use, you know, you look at Warren Warren Sapp's block shed, and that's why I say add this bull rush card because it makes Warren Sapp perform better. Look at Warren Sapp's block shed. It's a 99 overall. A 99 block shed, and he has inside stuff and double nothing. Man, that that's some that's some dangerous stuff at uh at, at your block shedding. Um, and then you look at the other one, uh Jeffrey Simmons which he makes this all work too. On Jeffrey Simmons, um, I have defensive rally. Uh, it just gives an extra pass rush point to all line on third and fourth down, which is good. It means everyone's going to go absolutely zerk uh, on third and fourth down. Then he has double or nothing. And I can change it if I want to. Um, if I want to just change this out and add inside stuff, I could do that and, ha and, ha and just be rocking two inside stuffs. But I'd rather have defensive rally to power up the whole line. So again, two good abilities to rock on Jeffrey Simmons. Um, he helps out your entire defensive line. 
Uh, so anyone paired with him, I mean, he helps out the, the right end, the left end, the D tackle. So you pair any lineman with him because he has defensive rally. Uh, this card is a great D2 card. Uh, let me see. Racer X says, I finally did the same thing. Lynch brings a smoke. Yeah, you got to have Lynch in this offense because you can just hammer this guy through tackles. He's going to get you those ugly yards. And you want ugly yards are the key to this game this year. Um, some of the abilities I got, I got to tell you, Troy Polamato, Troy Polamato, he has saved me. And I'm going to do another video on this, but I got to show you something, fam. Troy Polamato has saved me in two games because if you take Troy Polamato, and he's, a, he's probably, in my opinion, um, the best strong safety on the game, uh, if if you just take one, he gets one AP ac acrobat. This is this should be this is a cheat code, right? If you want Troy, if you want a safety that will win you games, you take Troy Polamalu with these stats right here. Because this guy has a 94 speed, 97 acceleration, 90 tackle, uh, press coverage is of 91, pursuit 95, man coverage is not that great, 88. But we don't need him being man coverage because he's a safety. A zone is a 95, hit power is 95. If you take this guy and you put him at your strong safety and you give him the one AP acrobat, he's going to be making some crazy plays for you. As a matter of fact, I think I recorded some. So um, let me flip my screen here. I'm going to show you uh, some plays. He made, he actually saved the game for me that I was about, about to lose. Right. And this guy saved me. So I'm like, you know what, man, this, 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 this guy is, he's legit. So let me go here to my uh, videos and show you. Uh, that this guy is is just a he's he just he's a beast man he can he 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 will save in some games so I'm gonna go to a, a game that I had right here where I was literally about to lose this is let me see if I can get this uh, thing to show pretty good it's kind of blurry here there we go Art Monk goes in so let let me show you guys and I shot this video earlier um. But let me, and I'm going to release it to YouTube, but I'm going to share it with you here. Uh, if you're on live, you get to see this. So this right here was a game that literally, um, it was just a tough game. The guy, the opponent was really good. I'm going to give a uh, big band. He was really, really good on defense. I was good on defense. It's one of those games where you just get locked down. Uh, this is back when I had uh, Michael Vick, um, but older game here, but I had gotten Troy Palomano. And let me show you what Troy Palomano did. So in the fourth quarter, I'm up 18, 8 to 15. He is about to score and send this game to overtime. Let me show you what this Troy Palomano dude did for me. So in this game, I want, I want you to see something. I think I paused it and I, I pre-recorded this. killing me all game. He's just been tough. I mean, he just been Let me draw on the screen here. So in this game, I'm have to cut in too. I'm, yeah, I'm, this guy was literally about to win because uh, I want you. I want you to see something. Let me show you why Acrobat is so dangerous. I'm gonna circle Troy right here so you can see him. And this is why you want Acrobat. See, there's Troy right there. That's Troy. This guy is about to tie this game up, right? Let me show you what Troy does. You look at Tyler Mallow right here. So look, look at look look at our monk right here. Watch what he does to this guy right here. Here, Art Monk goes in, gives him a little shake move. He makes my guy fall. Balls. Now he's wide open for a touchdown, right? Art Monk is. Wide. That should be a touchdown. This is this is ball game. This right is now, watch Troy Polamalu. Right. Watch how he he's saves his game. He, he's he's going to throw it. That should be a touchdown. Troy. Look at Troy. Look at Troy. Look how he dives. This is supposed to be a catch. But watch what Troy does. That's acrobat, yo. He saved my game with that interception. You guys see that? He just literally say, "I'm going to rewind it again." This is absolute. Troy is a demon. In a game like this. Where this guy needs a touchdown to send it to overtime. Let me fast forward a little bit. If you don't have acrobat on your on your um 
on your safety, this is a touchdown. That's why acrobat to me, um, I believe people say pick artists, pick artists. But yeah, put acrobat on one of your safeties. Look at this. That's a touchdown, fam. That's a touchdown. It's embarrassing. He, he gonna get cut for that. And that's Art Monk. So this catch. And just watch Troy. Troy said, nope. I got Yo, this, this is a catch. We're going this is a catch if I don't have acrobat. Let me see if I can position it right. If I don't have acrobat, a possession catch. That's a catch. Troy just leaving his feet. But Troy Polamato turns himself into Superman with acrobat. Because again, this is a slap. And look at what he does. Look at this. Look at this. That's crazy, fam. That is. That's crazy. crazy. That is why I say get Troy Polamato and put acrobat on this dude. Because acrobat. look at how he just saved me in this game. Look at that. That's crazy. Crazy. And that was a game saving interception. And we secure it. He thought he had a touchdown. So. <laughs> I'm gonna show you something else that, that Troy did as well too. Show you why you need to have Acrobat. Yo, here's another game, and these games will don't worry, they're gonna be going up on my channel pretty soon. Let me see if this will open up. Here's a game I played today. Right, didn't put it on the channel yet, but here's a game I played today. I want to show you something. Uh, this guy was about to beat me with a crazy play. Let me see if I can uh, show it here. All right, cool. This is right here. So this guy literally was about to beat me with a really, really crazy play. And he has Saints Fork, as you see. That play is going to go to the corner. That's a hard play to stop. But let me show you how great Troy Polamato is. And let me show you how I kind of schemed him, how I kind of baited him into this. All right, I moved this guy over so he is open, right? I purposely moved him so he's open to bait him to throw that because I know it's going to be a corner route. And then I mess around and I move him back. But look, look, look at what I got Troy Polamalu. I got him on this route right here. But watch how his acrobat kicks in and takes over. So I move him back. He hikes the ball. He thinks he has this. But watch, watch Troy. Look at look at Troy with the dive again. That's crazy. Acrobat is crazy. Look at this real time. You think you got a route? Nope. Troy just dives and takes that thing away. Acrobat is crazy. You got to put it on your safety, especially Troy. If you got a Troy Plum model, you got to put it on him um, because that literally saves a game for real, for real. So I'm telling y'all some good stuff, man. Put Acrobat on at least your strong safety, free safety. Have one person with Acrobat out there on your field. Um, it is a game. It is a game changer. Acrobat is a serious game changer. Full camera here. So yeah, folks, that's our stream for today. Just an hour, just kind of talking about some things that you want to do. But yeah, if you can put pick artists on your defensive backs and put acrobat at least on your free safety or your strong safety, acrobat is going to change the game. I, I recommend putting it on Troy because he gets it for one AP. Acrobat for, acrobat for any other safety is three to five AP. If you put it on Troy, you get it for one. He gets it discounted. And he really plays like a real... Troy Polamalu. So Troy is a, for me, a strong safety. He has been balling like crazy. He has taken away a lot of would-be touchdowns. I mean, this dude has even taken away screen passes that have been 10 yards away from him. I mean, he is running around and feel like a crazy demon. So um, I'm going to do a video on that. Um, so Troy Polamalu as a strong safety, for me, uh, pretty much the best in the game right now. Guy has been balling out of his mind. Best strong safety in the game. Putting Acrobat on it makes a big difference. So if you're going to build your much squad, um, if you're no money spent, you have to wait a long time uh, before you get these players. But spend a little bit of money, and uh, you'll get a whole lot. Now, I think um, my man was talking about the Super Bowl pack. And so let me let me take a look at the Super Bowl pack here he was talking about. Give me one second here. Let's take a look at this, um, this Super Bowl pack. Because I got one out. And I may get that and I may open it um, just so you guys can see what this is about. Uh, let me just take a look at it first. Make sure it's cool. I want to see what you get in the Super Bowl pack. So uh, let's take a look at this bundle. And let's see. Okay. So the Super Bowl pack is 150 bucks. It contains 10 Pro Elite packs, 10 Zero Chill packs, one All Pro Redux packs, 
a 99 Super Bowl MVP collectible, a 97 overall Super Bowl collectible. The week after the Super Bowl, 97 overall Super Bowl champion collectible transformed to a B and D. See, I don't like that. This, this pack already sucks. This pack sucks. This pack is garbage. I'm going to tell you what made it garbage. Listen to this. There's no way you should buy this pack. Hey, TJ, nah, man. This, this is a no-go, bro. This pack is awful. Let me tell you why. Anytime you buy a pack, anytime you buy a pack, you should be able to sell that pack, right? You should be able to sell those players. This, this says that the week after the Super Bowl, your 97 overall champion collectible will transform into a BND. That means you can't buy, sell, or trade it. Then your 97 Super Bowl champion fantasy pack and 99 overall Super Bowl collectible will transform into a BND. And a Super Bowl champion that quick sells for 500K. If I'm spending $150 on a pack, which I'm not going to do, if I'm spending that much money on a pack, I at least need to get two to three million out of that pack. They're turning these into B and D. If they make them into a B and D, you can't sell those. What am I going to do with an unsellable card? It's going to be stuck in your binder. You can never sell it. You might get sick and tired of it. And we interchange players all the time. I hate, let me, let me make sure this is clear. I hate B and D. They're robbing your money here. So you're going to be stuck with something that you can't get any value out of. And in, in Mutt, that's no good. So I would say avoid this pack. Don't buy it because you cannot sell the players. You won't, you'll be able to sell one player for 500K. And if you're going to spend 150 on a pack, and again, yeah, you got your, your 10 Pro Elite packs and your 10 Zero Chill packs, and they may or may not contain uh, some 90-plus overalls. That's a gamble you take. I mean, you're getting 10 of them, so at least in 10 of them, you know, I think I saw my man CC uh, open this, and with the Pro Elite packs and the Zero Chill packs and, and everything in the pack, um, I think he ended up with uh, a 91, 291s in a Pro Elite pack, and in the Zero Chill pack, he ended up with, uh, I think, uh, 190, and then an All Pro Redux pack. He got the 99, 99 uh, Super Bowl uh, MVP, but you got to wait till after the Super Bowl. So, after the Super Bowl, the 99, the 97, the 99 and 97 are going to be absolutely worthless because you can't sell it. Anything you can't sell is, is not worth it. So if I were to do a pack at Super so folks, if you're watching this video, don't do it. This Super Bowl pack is highway robbery because it's B&D, and I hate B&D, and you can't sell it. I mean, you're better off just spending two grand on this and at least getting one of 392 uh, overall ghost players because at least you can sell the player and make some money, right? So if you can't sell them, man, don't look anything that you can't sell, don't get. That's why I don't even advise this pack right here. I never told anybody to get these packs because even if you get these packs, all of your players are going to be B and D. That's B and D sucks. Don't spend money for B and D. So if you're watching this, I don't know where you are, who you are. If you're watching this, do not buy packs with B and D in them because they are literally the death of your Madden squad. Your Madden squad, you're not going to be able to replace those players. You can't trade them. So, for instance, if I had B and Ds on my squad, which I don't have B and Ds, um, I would not have been able to, to upgrade my squad. I'm upgrading my squad by selling players or buying packs. So, again, I happen to get um, I happen to get Warren Sapp and Jeffrey Simmons in in the pack, but I also was able to sell my existing defensive tackles and go out and use that money along with Michael Vick to go out and get Cam Newton and then go out and upgrade and get uh, LaDainian Thomason. And so basically I'm at 13,000 coins now. So between me winning Super Bowls, which I do win a lot, Super Bowls are getting harder and harder to win nowadays. I remember I used to win, um, I used to win Super Bowls like really easy. So um, I don't know if the competition's getting better or the meta's getting better. Uh, I'm not winning Super Bowls like I used to, right? I used to win at least... I don't know. I used to uh, win. Every time I went through that season run, I would win at least. If I did five five Super Bowl runs, I would win four. If I do five, I'm winning two or three. So 
Um, the competition is getting better, or maybe the Mad- Madden is just matching me up with better players. But the Super Bowls are not as easy to win. I play Super Bowls on all Madden because you get a huge pack. I play them on regular too. I play Super Bowls on all Madden. I play Super Bowls on the regular as well too. But it is hard to win those Super Bowls. But you get some really good packs um, by winning them. So um, I would definitely say, you know, build your team to win the Super Bowl. Make money by playing your team um, and selling it again. Uh, the next update we get here, we have got to replace our left guard uh, and our right tackle. Left guard, right tackle. And so who am I targeting for left guard? Uh, let's take a look here. And if you're in an, a money spent, I'm going to tell you who you should probably target left guard to. We're going to break them down. And my line is pretty good. If I can keep my line at at least uh, four AP for a decent offensive line, that's a win for me. So four AP for a def- decent offensive line is a win for me. Um, let me go here and switch my screen. We're going to go over to mutt.gg and um, let me show you uh, pretty much if you're going to go a line, uh, which you should probably be looking at. And so let's go to mutt.gg, which I always love to go to. And we're going to compare a line here. And um, Quinn Nelson, he's okay. Chase Young is a beast. He's a beast if you can get him a defensive end. He's a beast. He's too expensive right now, but he's a beast. So if you're going to go offensive line, we're going to pull out, uh, we're going to go uh, right tackle. I'm going to show you who's the best and who you should get. Um, let's look at Ryan Ramzak is a 94. Um, let me see what abilities he gets. So he has to at least have edge protector for one AP, and he does. So he gets edge protector and he gets lifeguard. Let me see how good that ability is. Okay, well, for free, I don't know if it's a good ability, but um, Ryan Ramzak price is probably around, oh, wow, it's 330000 So uh, I definitely, hmm, I definitely want to try to save up and get him if I can. Um, yep, you can get edge protector and uh, lifeguard. So that's probably going to be my tackle if I can, if I can target and get him. At a 94 overall, he's he's absolutely worth it. Um, Tristan Wharf was the only one that got uh, edge protector for one AP until they started coming out with, um, you know, I think uh, I think I'm not sure who was the first one to get the edge protector for one AP, but he had it for a while. That's why I still kept him. He's still blocking for me pretty good. Um, and let's go to another position here. Let's go over to left guard. I think Alan Fanica might still be the best in the game. We'll see. Uh, no, Quentin Nelson is. And, oh, wow, Alan Fanica is only 205K. This might be a, might be a mistake. <laughs> that might be a mistake here. Um, let's look at Quentin Nelson. Let's see what he gets. He just came out. He gets Secure Protector, and he gets All Day. Let me see how they, oh, they messed this card up here. So, yeah, you can only get Secure Protector. You can't even take advantage of All Day. Um, let me see what natural talent is rated. Okay, it says avoid it, avoid natural talent. Blockers with ability to start every new block encounter with built-in resistance. Okay, so yeah, secure protector is what you want. So uh, you can get secure protector is pretty good or nasty streak, um, which is pretty decent. Uh, I still like Alan Fanica better, and the reason why I like him better is because um, he gets a. Alan Fanica gets a uh, Puller Elite for zero AP. Um, I love Puller Elite. This is a really good ability. And the fact he gets it for, for zero AP makes this really, really good. So uh, Alan Fanica probably is going to be where I'm going to target at, uh, coming at the right guard. If you got Alan Fanica, you're doing really good. Alan Fanica is, is, a, is a good choice. Um, left tackle. I'm a little outdated on that too. I still got Trent Williams, man. I'm at a 92 and left tackle, but um, they're over up to a 95. Uh, if I can grab, um, let me see who gets uh, edge threat. So we're looking for edge threat here. Uh, and that's not a good card right here. So don't don't go Deion Dawkins because he doesn't get edge threat. Uh, go Joe Thomas. Uh, I hate I hate the Legends card because you got to power them up. They cost more than than you think they would. Uh, but you got to go get, let me see. You got to go get, um, <laughs> Joe Tom is going to get right expensive here. Um, Joe Tom is going to be three, four, five. So you're looking at for, you're looking at almost half a million. If 
550k for Joe Thomas, and because you got to power him up, so you got to get all his cards, and to do all that just for Edge Protector. So um, he gets Edge Protector at one AP, but he's uh, you got to power him up. I hate these power up cards, and then they only get they only are going to get uh, one decent ability. So he does get fool me once for zero AP, and he gets uh, Edge Protector for one AP. So you get these two abilities right here, which is pretty decent. Um, so at tier three, he gets this, and uh, he might be worth it. Let me see who else is out here. I'm trying to help you guys build your squad here. So we go left tackle again. Let's go back to the players here. And left, so we're looking at line. Line is the most important thing you can build, folks. Uh, Anthony Munoz, let me look at him. He's the best in the game so far. And he gets Edge Protector um, for 1 AP. Let me see how they got him structured. So, yeah, he's pretty good. Edge Protector, 1 AP. So as long as I get Edge Protector, uh, some people are saying he's overrated. Uh, edge Protector is always the best, um, I believe. So that's kind of your lineup, folks. And hopefully you guys got some out of this video. Uh, I did the same thing. And so, again, I'll update you as my squad get updated. But, hey, we got to see Ra Racer X Squad. If you're watching this video on replay, uh, hey, send me over your teams, man. Uh, you know, I'll put my email address down there. Uh, shoot me over your teams so I can take a look at it. And uh, thank you for watching, folks. We'll see you on the next.